Do you want to be that attractive, pleasing personality, one who enters a meeting room in a business setting or even for a social gathering? Everybody goes, wow, or oh. They're really impressed by your positive body language, your mannerisms and the way you speak. And they definitely relate to you. I am sure you want to be that personality who rules everyone's hearts and minds. So here I have 10 tips for all of you. Being trained in the aviation industry for almost five years, I have this skills now inbuilt into me. I practice this quite often and definitely these tips are going to help you out as well. So do watch my video till the end because it's definitely going to benefit you. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe my video because it definitely motivates me to make more interesting videos for all of you. So do keep watching. First point that comes under building an attractive personality is number one, your body language, which communicates almost 55% about you even when you are not speaking. So how do you maintain that positive and attractive body language? You need to keep your chin parallel to the ground. Okay, it should not be like this. It should be always parallel to the ground. Your shoulders should be upright. They should not be slouching. They should be in an upright position like this. Your spine should be erect. The spine, all right, it should be erect. It should not be slouching. And then comes your eye contact. Eye contact should be engaging. They should not be like staring too much. They should be gentle. And then if you are finding it difficult, just try to see the color of the eyes of the person because your eye contact should not break instantly with the person. For some moments, it should be engaging. You should look into the eyes of the person and then break that contact for a little while. So it should be gentle, it should be warm. And then comes your body posture when you're talking to a person. So definitely you need to bend a little forward when you're talking to a person to show that you are paying attention to that person. Besides a little bit of mm hmm mm hmm all these kind of you know gestures show that you are listening to that person and you are paying attention and focus to what he or she is saying. Always remember this very particular point that when you are listening to a person, do an active listening. That means you're speaking for just 25% and listening for 75%. Don't listen to answer back. Listen to genuinely listen the story of that person. Don't be affected by that me too syndrome that I have to jump into the conversation as soon as the other person finishes. All right, listen attentively, pay genuine interest in the story of that person. Then comes your hand movements. With this close kind of gesture, you show that you're not interested into the talk of that person or the conversation of that person. So open up, open hand gestures because this reflects that are you open to the communication as well as you are having a positive body language and a lot of self-confidence. So open up your arms and show appropriate gestures. Your hand should not fly too much into the air. They should be appropriate, well-measured and paced. So have that appropriate hand gesture, all right? Number two, very important factor and one of my favorites is your genuine smile. Wear that genuine smile on your face whenever you want to make those positive and lasting impressions. All right. And what is the difference between a genuine and a fake smile? When you genuinely smile, your mouth and your eyes both work. So your lips curl up and your eyes, they will be, you know, genuinely showing some wrinkles towards here. However, when it's a fake smile, only your lips curl up. However, your eyes don't show any emotions. So that is why I have a genuine, sweet, warm smile on your face whenever you're having a conversation and whenever you make those positive and lasting impressions upon someone because that shows that reflects your inner confidence and how you radiate your charm to others as well. A smile is contagious, right? So once you see somebody smiling at you, you definitely smile back at that person even without saying anything. So do smile. Your smile is beautiful, right? See, I see you smiling at this moment. Lovely. Keep smiling whenever you're having that conversation with that person, be it in a business setting or a professional setting, whenever it is needed. Third one, social etiquettes. Very important and which is, I believe, always taken for granted. So one of the important points under social etiquette is that take the name of the person whenever you're having the conversation with him or her. For example, Miss Minka, how are you today? Mr. Peter, how is everyone in your family? All right, so take the name of the person because taking the name is like music to the person's ears and you know it brings a connection and a closeness with that person and it sounds much more professional and shows your confidence as well all right then comes the second point which is using words like please thank you excuse me these words are generally taken so much for granted but believe me they really help to make a very positive connection with the person right in front of you and this shows your attractive personality as well so don't ever take these words for granted. Whenever you have to use these words, do use them appropriately. One of the nice gestures when it comes to social etiquette is holding the door for somebody, be it a lady, be it a man, be it a child. So if you hold a door for somebody, definitely it adds to your good mannerisms. 
be a promise keeper. If you promise somebody that you will turn up at five o'clock in a coffee shop, do turn up precisely at five o'clock. Don't delay it. Be punctual. All right. Punctuality is also one of the key traits of showing your attractive personality. Now, speaking about some controlled body movements, it's very important that you have appropriate body gestures. For example, we have seen people who are in a restaurant who shout out loud, they laugh out loud. This doesn't add to your mannerisms, okay? Because you have people all around yourself. So have those controlled body movements, be it in a professional setting or a personal setting. All right. We have come across people who are acting weird sometimes into. Uh, gatherings, for example, they are biting their nails, or they are playing with their hands, or they are just scratching their heads, or they are <coughs> clearing their throats quite frequently, and um, even playing with their mobiles, showing that they are not giving attention to the person right in front of them. So these kind of body movements, they do not give a good signal. All right. So if you can manage to control them, to control them, to give your undivided attention to the person sitting right in front of you, this is really one of the key points to have that attractive personality. Okay. The fourth important point is to reflect and show emotional maturity. I understand that these kind of business gatherings or social gatherings can be really uh, full of anxiety and stressful for people. But then you have to be mindful of your um, emotions, right? Uh, instead of fight or flight uh, mechanism, which is basically a amygdala hijack, try to be calm and composed. So one of the best techniques is to practice deep breathing. Okay, you inhale for four seconds, hold the breath for four seconds, and exhale out for four seconds. This will really bring your anxiety and stress to a lower level. So what happens when you have this kind of persona? People realize that you are calm, you are composed, you can take control over your impressions, and that kind of personality impresses people a lot because they think you as a problem solver, as a decision maker, and one who has the control over the emotions, the situations. So be very mindful of your emotional maturity. We generally don't take this into consideration, but emotional maturity is something which silently. Influences people, impacts people' opinion about you. So keep this into mind. All right. So here we are with the fifth point: find common topics. So during conversation, don't just close your communication or your conversation with just close-ended questions. How are you? I am fine. How is everything? It's going on fine. So don't close your communication with just these short sentences. Instead, find out common topics. Definitely, you have to respect the other person's opinion and judgments and their boundaries. But yes. Common topics like your favorite restaurant, the food, the common joint, uh, hobbies, the TV shows, the movies. These are something which are really, you know, uh, are related to a person's choice, and uh, they are really good in um, engaging the other person in a long-ended communication or long-ended conversations. So have those engaging topics ready in your mind, and these are kind of icebreakers which help you engage very positively with that person. So have those topics ready and communicate flawlessly. while also respecting the other person's limitations and judgments all right so find common topics of communication with the other person to make those lasting impressions in their minds all right so the sixth point is add a good sense of humor and uh, here i would like to say that we should be adding laughter and smiles and you know sprinkles of joy into everything this i have learned from my toast masters community even uh, when we deliver speeches we try to sprinkle some sort of humor because people love things whenever they are humorous they love to laugh and you know smile and that is what we should be having into us and we should be that calm and composed person and the go to person who makes the moments light for everybody who smiles frequently who puts some humor into everything so i think that is applicable to each one of us and um, it can be practiced in sometimes business settings often in social settings so be that go to person who is not that serious type who is not taking life with cries and you know in tears so be that go to person who really is jovial who has a lot of humor and definitely you will be that likable person everybody enjoys to spend time with okay so we come up with the seventh key point that is be dependable and i believe this is very important to build trust amongst two people for example i am telling a secret to one of my colleagues or one of my friends i trust him or her and i want that secret to stay with him or her it should not be that my colleague or my friend goes and tells 10 other people and says it's only between you and me right so be that person who keeps trust who is dependable people can rely upon and then you will feel that how much people love to talk to you how much people respect you so this is what basically helps you to be accountable to be trustworthy to be reliable and definitely people like to be around with trustworthy and accountable people you will really uh, feel the difference when you are that person and i'm really so proud that i am that person people love to stick to so be dependable it's really very important in making that attractive personality and this brings us to the eighth point which says that be authentic 
be genuine be honest be yourself be the best version of yourself because always remember that people may not remember what you did for them but they will remember how you made them feel all right so don't manipulate things don't be diplomatic with people don't maneuver around things be honest be true to yourself and be true to others because somewhere or the other down the line people will come to know who you are as a person so don't give fake compliments to others unnecessarily to please others like people pleasers and always try to be um, grounded you know it's very important because if you try to mistreat people and make them feel inferiority complex it's not going to give a long way so always be uh, grounded and be kind and considerate not only to the ceo of the group but even to the security or the watchman of the group he also deserves an equal um, kindness or equal treatment all right so be that authentic you who's kind and considerate to everyone and that will definitely make you an attractive lovable and pleasing person all right so let's go ahead with the ninth point so the ninth point says that learn the art of saying no which is very difficult very challenging i believe for each one of us we don't know the art of saying no and we always get confused that the person will be really very uh, hurt if we say a no but as a matter of fact if we say a no it shows our confidence it shows that we are in control of our situations and we know what our priorities are at that moment so in fact we are not people pleasers at that moment of time we know what our priorities are and we are working accordingly so the art of saying a no is um, very important and you really need to find the thin line between being rude and politely refusing or politely saying a no so if you don't want to hurt people or if you don't want to you know uh, let people think negative about you learn the art of politely refusing and politely saying a no so for example if you have been given a lot of uh, work responsibilities and then uh, you cannot say yes to everything because you're only one and you have almost 8 to 9 hours to work so you can definitely discuss it with your manager saying that i wish uh, there were two of me or uh, i have this much of workload can you tell me what is the priority and what is the urgency to finish the tasks and to a nagging salesman who is really um, pitching his product you may say hi this is a great offer but i am not interested at this moment thank you so much to a friend who really wants to take out for dinner you may say that hey dear it sounds very interesting and i really look forward to have dinner with you but i have some other important engagement or if you are invited to a business event then you can say that uh, i am really honored to be invited to this event but at this point of time i will not be able to make it or you can say that i am afraid i have some important commitment so these are the ways you can say a no and you can show your personality the strong personality the person that you are without offending or hurting the person in front of you so you are not a people pleaser but yes you are someone who takes control of his or her situation so do it and i'm sure you will feel very empowered about it and you must have heard of this popular quote from Warren Buffett where he says that the real difference between successful people and the very successful people is that very successful people almost say a no to everything here we are to the 10th point that is about self care so in this i have included habit of healthy eating and exercising okay so here we have to make sure that we are taking care of ourselves we are kind to ourselves and we prioritize ourselves because once we start loving ourselves and taking care of ourselves then only we will have the ability to impart these qualities to others right to have that attractive personality so be mindful of what we are eating what we are consuming because we are what we eat so when we are mindful of what we are consuming and we are not indulging into a lot of calories intake or junk food we will stay healthy and the second point in this is that we need to have regular physical exercises because it's really important for our body to stay in shape and get rid of the toxins and also it's very healthy as per the research for our minds and the brains to work effectively so both these things go hand in hand so be very mindful of uh, the habit of healthy eating and exercising and practice it 7 days in a week religiously as per your body requirements as it is said that it's important to be selfish before being selfless all right so take care of yourself first before helping others out so these were my 10 points which are really very important for having an attractive pleasing charming personality and i'm sure you must have learned something out of this video so if you have found this video useful please do not forget to like this video and share it with your family and friends who may also benefit out of this video also do not forget to subscribe to my channel because again it gives me a lot of positive motivation to go ahead and make useful videos for each one of you so soon i will be seeing you in my next video till then take care stay safe and ciao bye bye